Hello. My name is Jeremy. This is Red Beans Recording. And it is the third day of my uh, three-day staycation to uh, work on the album and uh, work on a video and just get a lot of projects done while my partner Brian is in San Francisco doing stuff. And uh, I've wanted to talk about something that I've had to do over the last three days, and that's like really, really concentrate on time management so I can finish the projects that I want to finish. Over the years, I've worked on a lot of projects, some small, some big, some for myself, some for other people. And it's been an incremental learning process on how to manage time, energy, and everything in between to get what you want done, but also uh, be happy and healthy throughout the process. And I think this album and this music video are probably the most happy and healthy I found myself uh, working on a large scale project ever. So I guess I kind of wanted to talk about why that is and what I've learned over the years to, to make that happen. The first thing is, is, is balance and making sure that you're balancing what it is you want to do with life and all the things that you as a person, a human alive person made of meat actually need to, uh, to be happy. So uh, taking breaks, making sure that you are eating well and staying hydrated and everything that you know you might put on hold when you're like really really focused on something and you just don't want to let it go sometimes you do have to let it go and you need to walk away from it and take a breather and make sure that your needs are being met that can do amazing things for your mindset too which i'll get to in a little bit the second thing that's really important to make sure that these projects happen is organization and from the moment that i know that i'm going to be working on something big I start kind of trying to keep checklists in various places of things that I know I need to get done. So for instance, in Google Docs, I have a sheet with all of the songs in it and what state they're in. And that helped me make a track order and also helped me track like what I still needed to do for each of the songs. And not only does that give you a bird's eye view of what it is that you're trying to do, but it also gives you a sense of satisfaction when you are uh, knocking things off of that, that list. Once you know how long these things take with practice, you have a much better sense of how to budget your time throughout the process and how long it will take you to really like focus and finish the thing. Like if you're working a nine to five, but you still wanna make music or, or make an album or make like a big project, you know that you need this much time to do A, B, and C and you know life takes this much time so how's that going to work together etc cetera, etc cetera. uh the other thing that i do for organization is um making sure that my uh lyrics and uh, any kind of creative document i need to finish the project is available online i use uh, google drive google docs google sheets stuff like that to make these documents available online so that anywhere where i might have like a little brainstorm idea i can write it down and then when i come home and i can actually work on it it's there waiting for me and i don't waste any time trying to remember what it is that I was trying to work on. The third thing is getting back to what I said earlier about taking breaks. And especially with the music video that I'm working on right now for Sing Me to Sleep, this project is massive. Like it's it's a lot bigger than I thought it was. Every single shot needs hand roto, hand tracking. I have to come up with a new execution for some kind of creative motion graphics thing on screen uh, for the duration of the entire song. That's five minutes and 30 seconds of video. I've been working on it for two days straight and I'm about, I think I'm about halfway through. I think I'm almost up to the second chorus. I still have a ton of work to do and I'm out of days off that I can take from my, from my job. So that means I'm gonna be digging into my nights and weekends coming up. And over the last three days, even though I've really wanted to work really hard on it and just nonstop, like stay up late until like midnight or one and like maybe like skip the gym or skip lunch, or anything like that, like I know that if I do that, I will burn out and I will not have the energy to continue what I need to do. And as hard as it is to pull away from a project for even maybe 10 minutes, it's vitally important for your mindset to be able to reset, refresh, and then come back at it when you have a little bit more energy and a little bit more distance so that you can really apply uh, more creativity to it with the energy that you've you've given yourself through eating or exercising or just going and playing video games for a bit. I don't know, whatever you need to do. Just make sure you're giving yourself some refresh time while you're working on huge projects. One of the other things that's really helped me is creating methods to make my brain not trick me throughout the creative process. A lot of the times these things are like full of self-doubt and you'll wonder if anything that you're doing is actually correct, uh, if, if the whole thing's falling apart, if maybe you've spent like 
three days on a mix and then you bring it into the mastering session and it just does not fit with any of the other tracks. And you're like, okay, well, crap, what do I do here? Like, do I, I thought the mix was good. What, <laughs> what the heck happened here? Now you're faced with one, considering that all the work that you just did on that song is garbage and by proxy, you are garbage and that you should probably give up music and dig yourself a hole somewhere and live in that hole. You're also faced with the issue of having to rebuild your confidence to get back at it and, and fix whatever it is that's wrong with it to make it fit. The last song of the album, for instance, uh, Lifeboat, like I was, there was a point where I didn't think I was gonna include it. It was really, really discouraging after I'd spent a lot of time on it and thought it was a decent song. So I gave myself a couple days and came back to it and was able to get something out of it that I think now is worthy of being one of the songs on the album. The point is, I've developed some tricks for me that help me avoid that trap. And one of them is, don't say something is finished unless you've listened to it three times and haven't touched anything. If you can step away from the keyboard and listen to a song and you've listened to it three times and you just don't want to touch it, then probably safe to say it's good. And I don't mean three times necessarily in a row, like over multiple days. Like if you spent eight hours working on something, you have to give your, your ears some time to rest because you've been coloring them with the specifics of that, of that song, with that sound, with that sonic thing, whatever the creative project is, I don't know. You have been digging yourself into like a little psychic hole with that project and you need to step away and give yourself some perspective. So listening three times in a row, like near the end of the process is kind of one of the, uh, the things that I do. The second one is if you've listened to something and something jumps out at you three times that bothers you, then go fix it. Like, otherwise don't worry about it. There's an impetus, especially when you're sitting in front of the keyboard to really want to tweak all the time. That timeline sitting in front of you, you're getting a visual representation of all the edits. You really, really want to do something and you need to step away and just listen and see without those controls in front of you, what actually is working and what's not working for you. If in that process you hear something multiple times that's bothering you, then you go back and fix it and give it another try. So yeah, that's kind of just what I wanted to talk about. Um, small tips and tricks that I have learned for myself to get myself through these big projects. And uh, I don't know if they're useful to you. If you have any that you like, please tell me in the area below this video where people type nice things to each other. And uh, I would love to hear them. I will be back with all of you uh, after the album and music video are done. Uh, the album's done. The music video will take a few more weeks and I want to film a couple more of these videos talking about the process and talking about the album so that uh, I'm sharing more than just like a link to Bandcamp with y'all. Uh, yeah, thank you. I'm Jeremy, this is Red Means Recording and have a wonderful day.